Good morning, YouTube. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. This is Alex Fantasy back again, bringing you another episode here of our Let's Play of MLB The Show 2020 for the PlayStation 4. In our last video, we unfortunately, in our wild card game against the Boston Red Sox, we blew it. We were up six to nothing in the bottom of the eighth inning, and just like the Toronto teams of every other sport against the Boston team, we blew it, giving up seven runs in the bottom of the eighth inning and losing the game. We ended up heading into free agency, making some moves, some big, big trades, including, oh, I think you already remember some of these trades. Let's see, where do they go? Where do I, is it player search? No, is it? Is there an option there, like, you know, to see all the deals? There we go, transaction. That's what I was looking for. Your Toronto Blue Jays made some big trade. Let's start off here at the beginning. First thing we do, we go ahead and trade Jameson Tillian from us to the Royals. We pick up a couple of prospects. Matt Duffy goes to the Marlins for a relief pitcher. We also trade... Uh, Levy Garcia for a starting prospect pitcher to the Reds. We then trade another guy we acquired, Andres Alaviga. Uh, uh, sorry, we, tra sorry, we traded uh, Adam Eaton, sorry, for Andres Alaviga. We then traded away Anthony Bates away as well. And then we traded a few more guys away uh, as well or whatever who I just felt like were not, who are going to want to play in the upper echelon, like in the MLB, but they were not going to be the best players we wanted there to sit and do nothing. So we've also got here to free agency. We've put in two 10-year max contracts for Francis Lindor, uh, Francisco Lindor, and Christian Yelich. And it could kill our budget in a matter of seconds. So, you know, it, it, it could definitely change on what we're going to be doing here. We've already put out our tender contract for all of our guys. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll have to wait and see. So, we head into the first real day of the free agency. No, we do not get yelled at. He sent an eight-year deal with the Nationals. So, unfortunately, we will not. Would you like to stop Yes. The Nationals do get Yeltsin on an eight-year deal. That is disappointing. There's the deal right there. So, he's the big fish. He goes there. So, you know what? That means Andrew Benintendi is going to want... We're going to have to bring back Andrew Benintendi to fill up the spots. No, I want to offer him a contract. What does he want? He wants $17 million. No, I will give you $6 million. I'll give you $7 million for one year uh, as an everyday player because... Screw your stardom. I'll give it to you for 8.5 just for the one year. So, all right. Let's continue on here and see what happens through the next day. No other big deals. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Next day. Uh, the Mets re-signed Noah Sandergaard. Six years, $181 million. National sign... Dan Winkler, first of all, I thought that was Winker, but Dan Winkler, the 87-year-old relief pitcher. I never even thought of that, uh, I, picking up a relief pitcher. We do get uh, Ben Intendi back, so there is good. Trevor Story also re-signs with uh, the Colorado Rockies. Relief pitchers, and now he was the big fish. Damn it. All right, that's fine. So Lindor is still available uh, for us here. So, no offers for Bez. Chris Bryant, it looks like he will end up going back to the um, uh, Chicago Cubs. Does anybody Has anybody offered Lindor anything? Nobody has offered Lindor anything. Tommy Pham, left fielder. Looks like he will head to the Padres. Oh, Roberto Osuna. Looks like he will return as the closing pitcher for the Houston Astros. The bum. No deals done there. Tommy Pham does go back to the Padres. Andrew Henney resigns with the Angels. A lot of resigning so far. Dodgers get catcher uh, Roberto Perez. He signs with them. <gasps> the Blue Jays get Francisco Lindor. The big fish comes in to fill that second base position and to really shore up, you know, our team 100%. 
We have the best shortstop in the league now, along with closing pitchers and relief pitchers. For top third baseman stuff there, too. So there we go. So Lindor becomes our all-star player here. Holy cripes. 31 million. We're going to need him to have a breakout season. His, his potential is going down, but his stats are at 94. So... I mean, right there and then, I think we're good. I don't think we're going to be making any other deals or anything. We got five, five. We got an extra guy there. So we got two catchers. We're good there. We got first basemans. You know, we got a guy who can play left fielder. So we're good there. We're covered. Justin Sanchez can play second and short. Got a guy who can play first and third there. Lindor can play everything. Goriel can play the field. Bobby Witt can play shortstop when we need him. Bo Bichette. There's going to be some guys sitting, unfortunately, this season. So we're going to have to make a, some decisions on which guys we might want to maybe trade out of here for some depth players. So, you know, that's going to be the big thing. Maybe Tay Oscar. He is, only, he is now 83 overall. And, you know, his stats are still going up. But, you know, still got a lot of work to do. Hmm. All right. We got 84 players. We got 32 guys on our 40-man roster, so we need to set that up. Uh, do we want to bring back uh, Bervita? Yeah, we do, actually. Make him an offer. Uh, 1.7 million, so we will give you uh, 2 million. There we go. Enjoy that. Um... 40-man roster. All right. Let's set that up. Because we don't want to uh, lose anybody here. Yeah. Uh, don't want to lose you. Hideki Ito. Don't want to lose you. Uh, Bruno Garcia. I would be okay if we lost you. You know, I don't want to lose Eddie Montoya. So let's see. That brings up 34. That would be fine. Fine. Mm, shortstab Eugene Delavia. Yeah, I, that'd be fine if we lost him. All right, so we're doing fine there. Closing pitcher, Roger Cordova. That's fine if we lost him. 35 players. Yeah, I don't think we're going to lose any more big-name pieces or whatever because, yeah. Hmm, let me double-check one more time. Uh, you know what? I will keep uh, Garcia, actually, because he could come up uh, next season. That would be fine if we lost him. These are all just C guys. And Tino Velgigas. Netherlands, 71 overall. Ah, I think we'll be fine. All right. So I think that is going to do it, because I don't know if we're going to be able to bring back anybody else. Because we're at $105 million already. I don't know how much more money, 105, I don't know how much more money we can go, so. All right. Go ahead here and let's see. Any other big name trade? I don't think so. All right, let's simulate to the free agency number two. Any other deals? Clayton Shark. Ah, oh, to the Indians. Now I got to face him freaking multiple times during the season. The Reds get Eduardo Rodriguez. Okay. Indians get Michael Conforto. And the 40-man roster must be set for tomorrow. Would you like to stop simulating? Yes. Uh, play, best players who we could lose in the draft. They're all B-potential. Uh, you know what? Uh, center fielder. You know, I'm fine with that. I am 100% fine if we lose any guys because we can make some deals afterwards. Uh, Silly so arbitration. Nope. I think we are good. The Angels have an offer for us. They want our uh, draft pick, Mark uh, Petroselli, and they want to send us a relief pitcher in Jacob Barnes. No, pass. Thank you, but no. Alrighty. Cardinals want to offer us. They want Josh Naylor, so that's a definite no already. Who's the starting pitcher they want to offer me? It's a prospect. Prospect starting pitcher, though. From Arizona. I don't know. I mean, I think we're good 
for that, you know, I don't want to... Can I get rid of Nailer? And no, I can't. No, so I have to wait. So the answer is no. All right. That's fine. And let's see. Still haven't had the Rule 5 draft yet. That's strange. Ha, ah, here we go. All right. So Rule 5 draft. Go to the draft. Let's see. So let's see here. Any of our guys. Don't. Uh, Raphael Lorenzo, I think he was mine. Yeah, the Fisher Cats. So we lost one guy in our catcher there. So that is a, a bummer there. But they want him to come up and play in the league. So you know what? I can I, I can live with that. Isotopes, Express. Yeah, all right. So nobody or whatever for us there. But we do get to pick a player if we want. All right, starting pitchers. Jake Vine, the answer is no. Relief pitchers. Uh, he's in the bullpen, that's surprising. Reese McGuire, really? That's a surprise. Okay, there we go. Brandon Jury, due to stuff there. So it doesn't look like a, lot, a surprising amount of A prospects, though, that are just sitting there. But nobody or whatever who is really young. So the youngest one being Philippe Uchiha. Yeah, I was going to say definitely from Japan with that name. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're good. Yeah, you know what? I don't see a single person here that we want to do anything with. So we will pass. Okay. Did uh, I mean it doesn't it doesn't say or whatever which is unfortunate so but we can look at our roster here We lost some relief pitchers. So we got to sign some relief pitchers All right, so uh, do, 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 Free agency relief pitchers Travis Fanone really that is a surprise any youngsters here? Yeah, there we go. There's one. Get him for a contract for sure. Uh, Darren O'Day. Do, do, do. 26. Uh, okay, pass. See if there's anybody else hanging around here at the bottom. Yeah. Even if he's a deep potential, that's fine. D potential callers. I could bring him back for another year. His stats are going down though. Philip Mada or Mulder. Sorry, that is it, Mada. There we go. We can get those two guys. Uh, All right, we need to sign some first basemen, or maybe I should wait because I might have to trade some guys. And I could use I could use my trades or whatever to get the guys who I want. So simulation to arbitration hearings. Red Sox have an offer. Wow! No. Uh, simulate to arbitration hearings, please. View the offer. Andrew Benintendi, and you want Robbie... No, I already got my five starting pitchers. Like, why would you think or whatever that I'd want that deal? Did I, did I say I wanted starting pitchers? No. Center fielder prospect, 20 years old, and you want Gabe Kruger. The answer is no. Come on, let's just get through this darn offseason. All right, so... Tyler Wade. Let's see. Is there any young players or whatever that have snuck up here into the top? No, it doesn't look like it. Kevin Pillar, man. Jesus. Matt Shoemaker. Yeah, just a lot of old guys just chilling down in here. The fact that Tom Spinone is still there is a surprise for sure. I thought at least or whatever he'd be willing to go somewhere. All right, new renew contracts. I have no renew contracts needed. All right, sim to spring training, and then I think we'll have to make 
a setup or whatever to, uh, you know, see who we're going to be keeping and who we're not going to be keeping. Completed contracts. have been scooped up. That's all the deals and stuff. We don't need to worry about that. Scouts. Due to retirement of your scouts, you are not keeping an eye on the youngest player. Diego Nottingham. All right. So, central, central. Oh, wait. We got a couple of new guys here. We got a guy who's... Oh, wait. No, that's fine. I can wait on that. I don't have a good guy enough in the West, so let's go ahead and do that and get an international guy in there. Um, let's see, another East guy could take over for somewhere else instead of going for the Central. I already got a Central guy, so I could just I could switch him out. So I got two guys in the East, international sense. So nobody, I'll be, I'll be scouting nobody in the West. So there we go. All right. So that brings us now to the roster. We got 35 active players, but again, we need to decide which players 100% are going to be here. So I think we might just want to simulate through that and see what happens. Because honestly, I'm not really worried about spring training. I've got contract extensions coming up, though. Let's take a look at that here before we start. Mike Sororka, he's going to want $9 million over those two years. So... And I do want him, so he's my ace 100% for sure. There we go. Done deal. Let's see. Three years. Three years. Yeah, I want to get him at the longest possible amount. Okay. Roman Wick. We want him back. Three-year deal. 100%. And three years at a million dollars. That'll be better than what he's looking for there. Ah, uh, what do you want? No. If you want $3 million, no. The answer is no. Omar Navarez, I... No. Sorry, bud. You're definitely going to be on the way out. Vladi Guerrero, though. Three years, yep. Every day. Uh, I'm going to put you as platoon because, you know, I don't know if you're going to... I don't know who else I've got, so platoon... Bo Bichette, platoon, three-year deal, yup. And we'll give you the max amount and make sure that your interest is good. Two, two million dollars, Bobby Witt. My God, he wants way too much money. No. Uh, 2.5 million, there you go. Adam Benintendi. He wants $20 million. I don't think I'll be able to do that. So, all right. Now we can take a look at the budget for the next years. We're at $109 million, man. Jesus Christ. Hmm. All right. Well, I think that's good for now. Let's go ahead and move up to the regular season here and see what players they've moved around. All right. 26 players. Yep. We got two guys on waivers, though. So who's on waivers? Who's on waivers? MLB player. Oh, here, let's just go to my roster. Huh. Why is he not up there? Why is Bobby Witt not up there? All right, I'm going to have to make some moves here. Um, hold on, I'm going to come back here in just a second when I've got everything all. All righty, we are back here, and unfortunately, we're in big trouble in terms of what we have on our team. So, with the fact that we chose so many guys with some higher ranked A potential, B potential stats, they have grown quite a bit, which has caused our guys or whatever to apparently use up all of their minor league options. So, we're in trouble. We've got ourselves our starting five in the in the uh, in the MLB. That's fine. We've got uh, we've got our guys in the AAA. But here, Connor Siebold, 70 overall. He has used up all of his moves. In three days, we'll know if he gets traded and or sorry gets picked up by another team. Unfortunately, so we'll have to wait and see and figure out whether or not. You know, whether or not it's going to be, if we're going to lose him or if we're going to need, we're definitely going to have to sign, I think, somebody. Triple A, we have the same problem. Woods Richardson. 
There's a pot. He's on waivers. He could. We could end up losing him. Uh, these guys, I think we are okay with. Uh, Gabriel Mavar. Uh, Mar Gabriel Marino or, or Morno or whatever you want to pronounce it. Also on waivers. It is very likely that we are going to lose some very high rank prospect players in the next few days. Uh, we had to move some people up and move some people around. We still also need to sign some positions as well. So that, unfortunately, is going to be a problem. Miguel Heredio is on waivers as well. He got called up for some bloody reason. We also brought up Bobby Witt Jr. Eddie Montoya sent down to the AAA. We have Benintendi, Hernandez, and Winker still. And that's it. Everyone else is good. But we still need to sign a few more positions uh, in with the double A and the triple A. So, you know, we have to wait and see. Anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really think we have much else to do other than getting our scouting and everything started. That's from last year. So now what we need to do is we need to start looking around places and trying to find the best available options in the international and the east. So we'll go through that in our next video as we get our season started. Uh, I think we're going to have to... Uh, really set up our line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then when I come back in our next video, we'll have decided which players will be on their way out. And hopefully, hopefully we will have, you know, got this all set up to exactly where we want it to be. Because, I mean, you look at some of these guys. Bobby Witt's on the bench. Sanchez is fine. You know, he's on the bench. Gabe Kruger is on the bench. That's fine. Weekly is platoon. That's fine. And then Naylor is platoon, but he wants to play. He's on the bench. So not so bad right now. So we might have to make some other adjustments or whatever to make this work. But that's okay. Our pitching rotation and everything is good to go. We'll make a few more adjustments and stuff like that before we really get started. But, you know, I think we're pretty much good uh, there. We'll also set up our uh, AAA and AA teams off screen and get that all ready to go because I feel like right now you know our teams in our like our whole set is really good we've got no power apparently in the in the single in the double A or whatever no barely any defense but rank fifth in the AAA or whatever we're kind of an all-around team again the defense uh, and speed is a down contact is great, but our power and pitching is also really low this season. We'll have to make adjustments for that. And our MLB team is second, a big improvement all around for sure. Our defense is in the top 20. Now speed is there. We just need to make a few more adjustments to get this all set up. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to finally just finally get this team where we need it to be. So that is going to do it, everybody. I am Alex Fantasy. Oh, wait a minute. We have $35 million left in our budget? Oh, my God. How did I not know that? <laughs> I thought we were really close to filling out. So, I guess our budget is what? A hundred and... Let's see. Total payroll. Uh, do, do, do. 150... Almost $160 million. So I've been working on the assumption that we did not have the money to afford it. So, because when you view the budget, nowhere in here says the max. So, unless that's the competitive thresh, competitive balance, you know. So, either way, there we go. We now know we have a little bit of wiggle room. We can sign some players and stuff like that and get them to where we want to be and maybe make some more moves and try to find the best possible guys to end this year or like to get this year really started so anyway that is going to do it i'm alex fantasy thanking you all so much for watching don't forget to like share and comment on this video and you can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more as always thank you all so much for watching